Hi everyone, my name is Arshia Mostofi and I'm excited to present to you my summer research project, a novel biological approach for selective extraction of rare earth elements. We live in the age of technology where cell phones, laptops, and automobiles have become an important part of our lives. They help connect us, entertain us, and get us from one point to another. The development of these technologies have been possible thanks to a group of special elements called the rare earth elements. Rare earth elements have unique properties that have made them an essential part of many modern technologies. Currently, 95% of rare earth elements come from metal mining. However, these elements are mostly found in highly impure salts, and their extraction relies on traditional methods such as hydrometallurgy and pyrometallurgy. Now, these are complex chemical processes that are expensive and release toxins to the environment. As such, access to these precious elements has become increasingly difficult. Given that the newer technologies are depending more than ever on rare earth elements, we are in urgent need of a more sustainable and economical method of rare earth element extraction. In order to create such method, we look to use a biological approach with a newly discovered lanthanide binding protein called lanmodulin. Lanmodulin is a unique small protein that is thought to bind rare earth elements with more than 100 million fold affinity compared to all other common elements. Such selectivity has not been observed with any other previous method, thus making lanmodulin a promising molecule for use in a rare earth element extraction system. To develop this rare earth element extraction system, we first set out to study lanmodulin further over the course of the summer to help gain a better understanding of its lanthanide binding capacity. To do this, we first cloned the codon optimized sequence of lanmodulin into E. coli using restriction cloning. We then heterologously expressed the protein in E. coli and used histac purification to obtain a pure sample of the protein. Next, to test for the binding capacity of lanmodulin, we ran a metal recovery assay. In this assay, lanmodulin was first incubated for 30 minutes with a solution containing known concentration of neodymium, one of the 17 lanthanides. After incubation with neodymium solution, the protein was then filtered out of the solution using centrifugal filtration, and the neodymium content of the filtrate was measured using a colometric assay called arsenazo 3 In this assay, a dark blue color is representative of a high neodymium concentration, while a light pink color indicates a low concentration. After the filtration step, the protein and the neodymiums bound to it will be stuck on the filter. As such, we would expect a decrease in the neodymium content of the filtrate compared to the initial sample. Indeed, this was exactly what was observed. Here, we demonstrated that after incubation with lanmodulin and the subsequent filtration of the protein, the color of the filtrate turned from an initial dark blue to a light pink color. Whereas in the negative control, where samples were only treated with water, no significant color change was observed. This shows that lanmodulin was able to successfully recover majority of the neodymium from the sample, resulting in the observed color change. Now to help quantify our data, we measured the absorbance of the solution at 650 nanometer and used a standard curve to estimate the neodymium concentration in the filtrate and in the initial sample. We showed that after treatment of 146 micromolar neodymium solution with a 5 micromolar lanmodulin, the concentration of neodymium dropped to 28 micromolar, indicating that lanmodulin successfully recovered the majority of neodymium with an 81% recovery rate. Whereas in our negative control, GST and non-selective protein for neodymium performed relatively poorly, with more than half the neodymium left in the solution. In addition, the samples that were only treated with water showed little to no neodymium recovery. Again, our results confirm lanmodulin's high affinity for lanthanides with an incredible ability to recover these elements from the solution. Furthermore, upon treatment with an acidic solution, lanmodulin released 95% of its bound neodymium, suggesting that acid treatment could be an efficient method of collecting the metals from the protein after extraction. Overall, we have successfully demonstrated that lanmodulin can efficiently bind and extract rare earth elements and the extracted elements could then be efficiently recovered from the protein with a simple acid treatment. This lays the foundation for building a sustainable and cost-effective rare earth element recovery system using lanmodulin, where the protein can collect the rare earth elements from highly contaminated sources. By developing such method of metal recovery, we hope to put an end to the current rare earth element scarcity.
Thank you.